Today, I'm going to share with you how I made 100 million coins from one investment and what I'm investing into next. So for those of you who watched my previous investment video, you would have seen that I invested hundreds of millions of coins into 93 overall team of the year players for the 95 overall team of the year exchange. And it went really well. On average, I bought them for 9.65, roughly 9.7, maybe a million. And on average, I sold them all for anywhere between 12.3 to 12.5 million, we'll call it 12.4, for a total profit of roughly 90, 95 million. In total, I bought around 60 copies and incredible investment. It's worked almost every single week so far in Team of the Year. And what I've decided to do is roll all of those coins right back into 95 overall cards for the next 96 to 97 overall exchange that will likely come out next Monday. Now, of course, this is a gamble because there's always the possibility that the exchange doesn't come out next week, although I don't see a reason why it wouldn't. But overall, 95 overall team of the years are down quite a bit right now, of course, because of the 95 overall exchange. Usually what we've seen so far is the best time to buy the players for the next exchange is when the current exchange is out. The best time to have bought the 93 overalls was when the 93 rated exchange first came out. The best time to buy 95s is when the 95 comes out. And the best time to buy the players that are in the 96 to 97 are when that exchange comes out. And of course, we saw that with last week. Cristiano Ronaldo is an example, was one of the players in the 96 to 97 exchange. Went all the way down to about 120. Now he's at around the high 120s. I don't think he's going to go up a lot in price really quickly, but I do think in the long run, the longer he's out of exchanges and out of packs, just like almost every other team of the year or ultimate team of the year player in the game, they will go up in value since there's going to be so much less supply. But at the moment, the 95 overall cards are my current investment. That is my thought process. I mean, the other investment that we saw in the other video, in my last video, was the 90 overall players for the 93 to 94 rated exchange coming out Friday. As you can see, they're up quite a bit. When we talked about it, they were at, I think, 3.5, 3.8. Now they're up into the fours. They will likely get up to maybe 5 million, maybe a little bit more. So there's a potential of a investment opportunity here, but I'm going for the cards that are currently at their lowest of lows, which is the 95 overalls. Now, of course, they could go down even more in value the longer the exchange goes on, but usually the first day after the exchange comes out is when they are at their lowest. So most of these 95 overalls are around these 27 million coin mark. That's what we're seeing for the most part, and that is what I bought them at. And I hope that they will get up to about the mid 30s by Monday next week. And something that's important to point out with these exchanges specifically, and we'll likely see a similar scenario going forward, is the best time to sell the players are in two times. One, right before the exchange comes out that they're going to be required for. And two, right when the exchange comes out within the first hour or two. Because everybody knows about the exchanges, a lot of people are investing in these players. And so because of that, as soon as the exchange comes out and people see an increased demand, people then who have invested start flooding the market with the cards, which if we're looking at it from an investment perspective, is not actually the right thing to do. The best thing to do is to wait, let the demand build, and then sell at higher prices and sell off slowly. But people don't want to wait. They dump all their cards onto the market, so prices don't usually hit the peak or the highs that you would expect them to hit. So oftentimes it's better to sell right before the exchange comes out or right when it does come out, which is what I did in my case. I don't think the 93 overall cards reached higher than 13 million. But with that being said, the final thing I want to talk about today is when is the best time to buy the ultimate team of the year players? Well, we know the event, the team of the year event is ending in one week. And we know that we'll likely have one more 96 to 97 overall exchange. And so I think the best thing to do is to wait until next Monday when that exchange would come out. And in that Monday to Wednesday period before the exchange ends, I think that is going to be the best time to buy ultimate team of the year players and team of the year players in general, unless EA does something crazy and releases packs or a promo after team of the year that allows us to pack a lot of them. But assuming they don't and they will be in shorter supply once the team of the year event is over, I think the next Monday to Wednesday period will be the best time to buy likely of the entire event because a lot of these players will be in exchanges, in packs, and their supply will be really high compared to later on. And so We've even seen just price movement recently when these players are in exchanges. 
how drastic it could be. We had Ruben Diaz. For a while, he was hanging around the 100 plus million, then the high, you know, 80, 90 million. But ever since he's been in the exchange and in different packs, he has crashed down to 47. And when you compare him to other players of his caliber, I think he is worth considerably more, especially when the event is over and these players are hard to pack. Same thing with Kevin De Bruyne. I mean, if we go off of historical data from the prices we saw pre team of the year till now, a player like him pre team of the year would be way more coins than he is right now. And so you could apply that to any of these team of the year players, even the new honorable mentions, all these guys, if they're good in game, they should go up in value theoretically once team of the year is over. So that is all for today. I hope this video helped. If it did, please drop a like. If you are new, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.